Cheerios With the other brothers Count on board Cause you know You don't want more One day Turn around Really I'm glad That I found One day Turn around Yeah You gotta fight Make a fight Rock the gun I guess you can't Sleep tonight You gotta fight Make a fight Into the kid In the car At night You gotta fight Make a fight You don't know Me or die You gotta fight Make a fight Hey, my name is Roger Garvey, etc., etc. I'm 19 years old and still a virgin at this point. I've just moved to the big fat city. Up to this point in my life, things haven't gone too well. So now, finally, here's my big chance to create a new persona. It's the perfect place to begin a story. As we begin, our city has entered an era of extreme squalor and decay. I'm used to it now. People who've lived here since birth don't notice it. But at that time, the unyielding filth carried with it a mystical, almost biblical quality. So I'm sitting on a stoop with my best friend's girlfriend, and I feel that we've fallen in love or whatever during the course of the afternoon. Oh, you two are beautiful. I know what it's like to be in love. I'm in love right now. See, that's what I mean by biblical. It's like they sent an angel to punish us for our adulterous thoughts. At this time, I didn't have a lot of money and was forced to live in a very small apartment with the saddest and most fascinating of all roommates. Yeah. So I gave little Miss Perfect a birthday card today. Do you think she thanked me? <laughs> Noel was the textbook definition of a creep. His creepiness was immediately apparent and not only because of his extremely creepy appearance. For instance, he kept binoculars in his dresser with which he would scrutinize every woman who entered the building. There she goes, the glamour queen. She thinks she's really something special. Well, I've got news for you, your highness. He was a 26-year-old engineering student. He was, and I'm sure still is, a virgin. Hey, I'm glad you don't have a boob tube. Last guy in here couldn't keep his face out of the boob tube. My friends and I called him Peener. <laughs> he sometimes made his own furniture out of cardboard. Now could I make that up? And showed no distaste for my decor, which could not have been less like his and was chosen specifically to offend him. After a few days of torture, I knew that this was the opportunity of a lifetime and vowed to stick it out with this guy. If this seems like a pointless detour, it's only because I refuse to let sacrifice go to waste. The only books I read are engineering books. Why should I read that other crap? It's useless. He had an incorruptible mannered cheapness perfectly suiting his martyr-like personality. His diet consisted of pizza bubbles, burger aid, and cornflakes, which he ate with a grotesque, soggy, slurping gusto. Forget, forget all the CDs, the best sound quality, forget that. Listen to that, you can't beat that. I don't, I don't care what to say. I'll be in the shower if anyone calls. Noel was an atheist, but was oddly unable to swear without using awkward homemade euphemisms, the weirdest of which was suck in place of fuck. Ah, oh, suck! What the shit was that, man? No, it's Noel. He must have run out of hot water. Only one time do I remember him pursuing a mate. She was this woman that worked at the store across the street who he insisted was smiling at him. I knew she was just that smiley type, but still I egged them on. It apparently went like this. That'll be 11.49, please. Thank you. Want to talk? About what? 
why. Well, <clears throat> what was all that smiling about? He was entirely without charm, and I talked to him only in the spirit of morbid fascination, which made the sudden revelation of this horrible fact all the more chilling. Suck! You know, now that I'm no longer on speaking terms with the moose, I guess that makes you my best friend. Yao, he wouldn't have numbered among my 50 best friends, and I'm a loner. I was constantly making fun of Noel behind his back while appearing to be his pal. What a callous bastard I was. Fortunately, whenever I start to feel bad about it, I have a backlog of memories to justify my cruelty. You know, I can get along with anybody, but I draw the line with coons and faggots. During that year with Noel, I went out nearly every night. It's like I knew that nothing was going to happen at home, so I went out to improve my chances. I'm going out. I spent a lot of time just waiting for something to happen. It sometimes got really hot, but I never took off my leather jacket. There were hundreds of beautiful girls in those days. In retrospect, it seems as though they were all flirting with me, only I didn't know how to read the signs. It was a tragic season of missed opportunities. I don't use drugs at all. I can't stand the idea of looking like a novice. It's kind of the same reason I hadn't had sex yet, but I started drinking heavily. I strongly recommend it for anyone who has trouble talking to the opposite sex. I'd probably still be a virgin if it not for alcohol. I remember one night I was at this bar. Some girl told me to meet her there, but then she showed up with a bunch of friends and ignored me. It was pretty awkward, so I drank a lot, partly to make her think I was a hard-drinking badass. After she and her friends split, I rode around the subways for a few hours. Soon it was morning. I'll never forget that look on her face. It was one of those rare moments where life delivers on the promises offered by Hollywood. In a way, it was a perfect moment. Everything I had been waiting for. People like me probably don't want anything to actually happen to them anyway. Anyway, I eventually moved out of that place with Noel. I've had some other roommates, but these days I live by myself. I was living by myself last year when Noel stopped by for a visit. Paceboard. And that leather jacket I used to have? I gave it to a girl I was in love with a few years back. 
It makes me look fat. Only one of many regrets. Toward the end of that summer, I screwed a girl I met at a Dills concert. She didn't know it was my first time, and I didn't tell her. <laughs>